axial flow compressors are primarily used in gas turbines. They also find use in blast furnace blowers in steel industries and similar requirements of large air or gas volumes. Pressure ratios per casing are comparable to centrifugal compressors, but the flow rates are considerably higher for a given casing diameter because of the greater area of flow path. A typical example of a horizontally split axial compressor is shown here, with the section and the discharge nozzles. And here you can see its corresponding cut section. As seen in the schematic, the rotating element consists of a single drum on which several rows of rotating vanes with aerofoil cross sections are attached. The veins of successive rows keeps decreasing in height. Between each of these rows of rotating veins, there is a row of stationary veins. In the 3D model view that you can see here, the rotating veins which are mounted on the rotor drum are seen from one end. The stationary veins are mounted by means of supporting arrangement from the casing. Various arrangements exist for supporting the stationary veins. Now, a view showing only the rows of rotating veins in the upper half is seen here. And here, the same view, but this time with the casing completely removed. The rows of rotating veins are seen here at a different angle. In this view, the stationary veins, which are supported from the casing, are seen from one end. And now, you can see them without the casing. Here, you can see the rows of stationary veins in relation to the bottom casing of the compressor. In general, the stationary vein arrangements are guided by supporting rings for variable flow requirements. On rotating the supporting rings, the angle of inclination of the stationary veins can be changed. This is used to change the performance parameters when required. The following illustration gives a clearer view of the stationary veins changing their angle of inclination simply on rotating the supporting rings. Let's now observe the rotation of the rotating veins with respect to the stationary veins and the flow path of the gas. The gas alternately changes direction as it passes through the rotary and stationary veins, which are inclined at different orientations with respect to each other. The rotating veins impart velocity and pressure to the gas. The working principle of this axial compressor is now seen at a different angle. Now take a look at the following 3D animation. It shows in a simple way how these special compressors work. <laughs> 